Oh, wait a minute. Mm, that's better. Do I look really red to you? I think I'm, I don't know. The heat or... Maybe it's just the lighting. Are the lights on? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should stop eating almonds for a while. I'm breaking out, I think. Or it's the heat. Or it's stress. Although I don't have much stress in my life. I don't think. I don't know. Fix my hair. Oh, gosh. I'm just wasting time right now at this point. Come on, baby. All right. It's a good thing you're not watching me for my looks, right? I don't know. Um, hi, it's I've already wasted an entire minute. Only nine to go. Have we met? I'm Chris Zimmerman. Christopher Robin Zimmerman, but that's pretty long. You can call me Sarah Z for short. This is uh, the 114th video I've done in 2012. We've actually done a couple more, but in the numbered series, we're up to 114. Did you watch that road race yesterday at Sonoma? Sonoma's kind of my home track, although I've never been there. But I feel like I've been there because good friends of mine, Craig and Susie, go every year. And now they have a son, Mason, and they've taken. And other than the fact that he's really been brainwashed into liking Jimmy Johnson, for which I blame his mother, but it's a lot of fun... Uh, living vicariously through them because they always take lots of photos when they go there. And I think they probably see a better race than we see on television. The problem with TNT's coverage is that racing really gets in the way of all the ads they want to show. They will show three minutes of ads and then they'll come back and show 30 seconds and then they'll go and they'll show another three minutes of ads. Just terrible. On the plus side it gives you a lot of an ample opportunity to get up and make a snack if you so desire but it was kind of too hot to move. It actually wasn't all that hot, but when you've been accustomed, acclimated to it being nice and pleasant, and then all of a sudden it's hot, don't take it well. It hasn't been hot today, though. It's 6.36 p.m. I am running late. Now 6.37. You know what that means. Taco Bell bong in one minute. Countdown. It's currently 77 degrees. And it, I don't even know if it broke 80 today or not. The reason it's been so pleasant today, today's high, 79. Awesome. It's because I bought a fan on Friday. And so now it's uh, cool enough that we don't need the fan anymore. Which is just as well, because the fan I bought ended up having a big crack in the bottom of it. Which, haha, <laughs> I have a big crack in my bottom as well, but... Uh, I need to take it back, but it did work, so we plugged it in. I needed something to pull cool outside air into the house because we had the window. The other window was blocked by the window air conditioner. You care about this. You care about it so much. So with the other window, we used it to pull. There it is. Cool air into the room, and it worked so well that I actually had to get up and turn it off because I was cold. Ah, that's good stuff. Anyway, I gotta package it up and take it back and get one that's not so superficially broken and cracked. Yep. I love going on to the hardware store though. Here in Minnesota that means Menards. Well, you could go to Lowe's, but you gotta go to Menards. You can save big money at Menards. It also means that you can buy hardware groceries. Hardware groceries are when that hardware store is too big for its own good, so it has a grocery section, and like all the groceries are like brands you never heard of, or things that have a shelf life of a million years, and you really shouldn't buy any food there at all, but because you're a man, and because they have a lot of manly foods like jerky and mixed nuts and cheese balls and uh, man food, man. So you always find yourself picking up a couple once it's... Of course, I left them at home, so I can't show them to you because they were for eating here at the office. 
but they did involve sesame sticks because the sesame sticks I bought at Walgreens were so good I craved more and I'm not smart enough to buy them in bulk at the grocery store like I used to. Here's a flag for you to look at. I'm so well prepared. There was a comment on the W that I didn't get to from Mike and we were talking about these here Smarties all last week really. And these Smarties Canadian version. And Mike had something to add. He said that these Smarties, not these Smarties, these Smarties are known as Rockets in Canada because these Smarties were there first. So there you are. He also says that these Smarties that I got, and remember I pointed you to the Made in Canada text. He says they're left over from last Halloween. They ramp up production around then because they can't meet demand with just the U.S. Smarties factory, which is in New Jersey. That's plausible, but these things are good forever. These things are good. This particular package is good until 2015. Are you telling me they can't just ramp up during the downtime and keep these things around for a couple months in a warehouse somewhere? I don't know. I'm not sure I buy that. But I don't have any Smarties from New Jersey either, so just something to throw out there. As you can see, I made a little dent, but there's still a whole bunch in here. I tried crushing them up and putting them in coffee. I think I did that on a Friday. I wanted to see what it was like. Uh, I couldn't taste it, so I didn't put enough in there, I guess. But I guess that means that Smarties don't have so much sugar that they can flavor coffee. Or they have enough uh, acid in them, uh, citric acid and calcium stearate, that that counteracts the effect of the sweetness uh, if you put it in coffee. It didn't really taste like anything in the coffee. It was probably more bad than good, though. Sit up. It's like you see me and like the video looks like this and I'm way down here. Which is more exciting anyway because you want to look at all my stuff and not at me. Gotta swap about that poster though. I've been meaning to do that for about a month. And now we're almost at the end of the month. But uh, one more of Cerebus's posters is going to go up there as soon as I get around to it. Of course if I can't even stick a suction cup with a flag on it back there poster is a full-time job compared to this. What shall we talk about this week? Won't you help me decide? I'll show you another flashing thing. I got this at Walgreens and then totally forgot about it. It flashes red, white, and blue, although you can't tell because the LEDs are so powerful. Oh my god, look what it's doing to the picture. I usually give these rings to people when it's their birthday, but now I don't see anybody since I don't go out. With karaoke done, I gotta get out more, celebrate people's birthdays, and give them flashing rings from Walgreens. That's a plan. So if you'd like to guide the discussion, and I hope you do, give me something to talk about, please. Get over to the W, or leave a comment on Facebook, or leave a comment on YouTube. I didn't uh, actually see if I had any comments on YouTube, since I have a minute left. Let's see if I can quickly log in and confirm that nobody has said anything to me on YouTube lately. YouTube constantly wants a mobile phone number, and I constantly don't want them to link the YouTube account with my mobile phone. So why will they just accept the fact that I'm not going to give them a number and let me move on? It's not like I'm going to lose this password. And it's not like I'm not going to lose my email address. Hurry, 30 seconds, inbox. Nothing. <laughs> that was worth it. Quick, let's go to Facebook and see if anything's, anybody said anything there. Quick, hurry, quick. Am I logged in? Yes. Did anybody say anything? No. But someone wants me to play Solitaire Blitz, and it's James. Maybe I will tonight. Maybe I will. More likely, I'll play Draw Something. Do you play Draw Something? Do you play Draw Something with me? If you're Mark, you do, and you suck. Oh, sorry, Mark. That's it. My ten minutes is up. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I will try to do much better uh, tomorrow, I promise.